Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa min hum man haqqat alayhi ad-dalala and of them were some who the whom the straying was justified these they denied the tawheed al-uluhiyya and they indulge into misguidance that is very astray and disbelief in Allah and shirk and belying the messenger so the purpose here is to show that the previous disbelieving nations that denied the messengers they never they never rejected a rububiyah they believed in Allah the one from free from all defects the exalted and that he is the one who created the universe and sustains and controls everything and that he created them and gave them speech and sight and he sends rain for them from the sky and thus he makes the crops to grow all of this they acknowledge and never denied it and this is bringing home the same principle the sheikh is emphasizing here as the delil mentions that they believed in tawheed arububiyah but they denied tawheed al-uluhiyah And this is the Tawheed that most of the deviant sects of Islam stop at. They don't go beyond that. So meaning that many of the groups that you see that have deviated, and these are the groups that have issues with Tawheed, meaning they either, for example, negate the divine attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or negate their meanings or make ta'wil of their meanings like the Asha'ira or the Maturidiya or other groups that distort Tawheed, perhaps some of the more extreme Sufi groups. And generally they have an Ashari related creed, but some of them they negate. Likewise, uh, they violate uh, aspects of Tawheed. And just depending on, as, as we've mentioned countless times, Ahl Sunnah Tafawit, Ahl Bidah Tafawit. Ahl Sunnah has different levels, different levels of their knowledge, different levels of their practice. And Ahl Bid'ah, likewise, they have different levels of deviance. Some have Bid'ah, Mukaffara, and Bid'ah. Some have Bid'ah, Ghayr Mukaffara. Some have uh, Bid'ah, innovation that takes them out of the fold of Islam. Their Bid'ah is so extreme. For example, the ones who go to the graves and they supplicate and attribute uh, perhaps lordship or at least directing their ibadah to other than Allah khalis, you know, without any exception that they go and they, they supplicate. When a woman wants to get pregnant, she supplicates to Abdul Qadr Jailani. Or uh, they go to the village deceased sheikh to his grave and the people seek barakah from his d dead body and sacrifice to him. This is clear kufr, makhraj min al-milla, that takes you out of the fold of Islam. Wallah mista'an wa ayyad al-milla min thalika. And so that shows that some of the deviant sects, they violate this. And what I want to emphasize for those who are not aware of these principles in Qawaid is that that doesn't mean all Mutadiyah deviate in Tawheed. For example, we don't say the, you know, this, this has to do with specific individuals or specific sects. That some Hezbeen, for example, that they know Tawheed very well, but they deviate with regards to political issues or the issue of Tikfir or the issue of Jihad or other aspects of the religion. They deviate in that. And that's where they go astray. So we have to understand the concept of bid'ah and the concept of shirk and kufr and weak man and distinguish between them. 
that requires ilm of fiqh. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with fiqh bideen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.